The suspect, Nicholas Farah, he was a 36-year-old white male adult, 5'6", 150 pounds. Farah's picture to my left. Farah's criminal history, he was convicted. He was a convicted felon for possession with intent to deliver LES, LSD in 2001 in Wisconsin. Farah had priors for attempt, manufacture, deliver THC, possession of a controlled substance, theft, resisting a police officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, probation violation, bail jumping, possess illegally obtained a prescription, disorderly conduct, and battery domestic violence. Fair charges for while he was in custody are trespass, obstructing a public officer, excuse me, obstructing a police officer, and resisting arrest. The details of the incident. On Sunday, March 31st, Fair was arrested by patrol officers for trespassing at the La Quinta Inn located at 4975 South Valley View Boulevard. The La Quinta management reported Fair was in their business acting strangely and repeatedly called for cabs and then re refused service after their arrival. Officers arrested Fair after management requested Fair be trespassed from the property. Fair was advised of the trespass warning and gave Fair the opportunity to leave on his own, but he refused. Due to Fair being duly warned of his trespassing and still refusing to leave, he was arrested. While officers were putting Fair into the patrol car for transport, Fair became resisting, excuse me, began resisting and became agitated. Due to Fair's actions, the officers requested a code five via dispatch. A code five is a request for cameras in the jail to be activated and is used to inform the jail that patrol is bringing in an uncooperative or combative subject. A code five also requires the Clark County Detention Center staff to meet the patrol officers in the sally port of the jail when they are bringing a suspect in to assist with getting the suspect into the facility safely. When the officers arrived with FAIR, correction staff met them in the Sally Port area of the jail with a restraint chair. The restraint chair is used to restrain combative subjects and to keep them from injuring themselves or others during the, pro the booking process. As the corrections officers began patting Fair down and searching him, he once again became combative and uncooperative. Due to the suspect's actions, the correction staff decided to place him in the restraint chair. The officers held Fair in the chair with his head between his legs and his arms stretched up and behind him to adjust the handcuffs to fit Fair's arms into the cutout in the restraint chair. They were also switching out the patrol officer's handcuffs to, to a pair from the jail. After being, being held in this position for approximately 75 seconds, Fair appeared to stop breathing. EMT personnel already on scene noticed Fair wasn't breathing and began to render, render medical aid along with the Clark County Detention Center staff. An ambulance transported Fair to University Medical Center where he was pronounced deceased at 9.59 p.m.